I really, really wish there was another bonfire at the end, because going through all of this with the bloody fog gate... Well, technically I did unlock a couple of shortcuts. Choo-choo. Right. So I want to use the mace for the boss, so I guess I'll go in with the... Drang leg sword? That sounds like a plan. So I don't get shot of arrows. Like that. Bye. Bye. Come across shotgun. Bye. Oh shit. Nope. Oh. Oh, I'm not going to be killed here. Well, technically I haven't used the... Uh... Effigy yet, so... Hmm. Uh... Yeah, I need to clear all the enemies before getting here. Lighting error. Oh, so maybe the intro movie with the Firekeepers was glitchy too. I don't know what's causing this. Well, it's only been the first... Well, it's still the first week as of recording this, like Dark Souls 2's gone first and it's out. For years, it's probably been out for about a month or so. Yay, recording a bunch in a week. Tens up by the time episode 5 or episode tens up, I'll have already completed this. <laughs> Actually... Knowing that, that would probably be true. The thing is, I did that with Dark Souls 1. <laughs> Alright, humanity restored, and with that, Luke Ateel's uh, summon sign should be around here. Ish. Uh, Luke Ateel, where the hell are you? Oh. Oh, you throw oil, you're a douche. You're a douche, you're a douche. Something, something, something. Seriously, where balls is Luke Teal's thing? Um. Oh, these guys be spawn. Yeah, screw you guys. Where's? Do I have to look all over the bloody place for Luke Teal's summon sign? Let me tell me I do. He was sitting and lying on a table that wasn't there. Lovely. Hmm. Where? Were... Oh. Did I come up here for nothing? I did. Well, however, they they moved Lucatiel's phantom location to a more accessible place. Ugh. Herp, a ah, frickin' derp. Ah, so that means all these guys are here again. Ugh, right. You're dead. Y'all are still here, fuck. Boom. You will die soon. You've just. What a ton of enemies. Or maybe these are ones from the other summon sign. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. And you fall to your death. Pay a caster, why not? If I'm summoning one person, I might as well summon a bunch. Right. So you. Hi. Oh. She he healed us, yay. Right, so for that uh Any other summon signs? I know there's enough NPC summon, but I guess I couldn't find them. Alright, so that's... boop. And in we go.
So yeah, this is the Flex House entry. Two bodies, one pair of legs. Can't join twins, anyone? Yeah. What the heck is that spell? Uh, Pure Caster, what the balls is that? Oh. And he's using, he, she's using hexes. Or I should just say they're using hexes. Well, that Luke Teal survived. Thank you, Pure Caster. Oh, they have to praise the sun gesture. Yeah, I want it. God damn it. Um, okay. In order of that, I should probably help someone fight this boss. Right, so, small white substone. I can just plonk it here, right? It's not showing up. Right. Wait, why would I... Oh, if I put anyone on the ship, it, my sign goes there. Ah, that must be an issue in the first Dark Souls too. Maybe. And I think I get what that uh, little symbol on the right under the stamina bar is. I think after you defeat a boss, you kind of activate a offline mode-ish thing, I guess. So you can't be invaded, or you can't summon for another hour? I think. I could be completely wrong. So I would advise you to look it up on the wiki. Uh, Cyrilla! Or Curly... Cyrilla? Cyrilla? I don't know what you're called. You're not pure caster, but you have that stuff on. <laughs> oh. Hex weapon. Well, okay then. Yep, you've charged the world, boss. Or the area, boss. What if Dark Souls had world bosses? What if Dark Souls was an MMO? Everyone would get to the max soul level and be overpowered with a bunch of spells. Or it would basically be like Monster Hunter. Plus spells. <laughs> Very much, actually. So yeah, that's the Flexile Sentry. I've helped someone with it. Yay! So yeah, like I said, I will be helping anyone I can with the boss. And they're gonna go through their door. And I need to go through mine. <laughs> and there's a loud plane outside. Right then, let's go through here, shall we? So down we go, down we go, down we go, and I think it's either a new game or a new game plus onwards. This uh, floor slowly fills up with water, so you are on a time limit and you can't eventually drown. So yeah, good luck with that. Ooh, chess, hello. I think they moved this chest so people could get the pyromancy flame. Spoilers, there's a pyromancy flame in here. <laughs> And examine. We're ready to go. Cutscene time. Was that Bastille or is there? To be honest, I never saw... Or at least I can't remember seeing the Bastille in that image. Of them going through the cave. So yeah, I guess we're... Near the Bastille. Huh? Be wary of confidence left. Be wary of down. In short, composure required ahead. Right. So what's changed in this area then? 
Lag it ahead. Death ahead. Pass here. Oh, yeah, no, nice. Why are there bloodstains here? People shouldn't be dying here. Oh, there's two enemies. But uh, allowed to explain a bit. So people, after fighting the boss, end up fighting these guys and getting killed. Rough and rolling. People seriously get killed by this boss? By these? Well, I suppose if you're unprepared, you will. Yeah. Now, quickly there, there was a cave there. We will be getting to that. But it requires going through another elevator ride. Two, in fact. So... Yep, we're in Lost Bastille again. Is this place Lost Bastille or is it something else? Ah, it's all a proud night. Yay. Um... Anything in here? Nope. Right, I need to do this quickly. Out! There we go. And with that... Boop. And that's how you access the cave. <laughs> so yeah, we've got an elevator ride, and then it's back up to... thingy. Emerald Herald. Scimitar and a pear powder. Yay. So, boop. Slowly going up. I hope. There we go. Do, 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 do. Now, let's see. If I get the longbow, I might want to upgrade it. So that's 7,500. Add on to anything else I want to upgrade. Actually, does that guy even sell. Oh shit, does he sell titanite shards? I know that uh, thing he can after you beat the Iron King, but... Hmm... <laughs> Don't give up, Hollow. Try right. Oh. Just your skeleton. Skeleton man. Am I going to sing S Skeleton Man every time I see a skeleton? Most likely. Bonfire left, there is one, yay. So I believe if we go out this bit... Lost Bastille! Yep, we need to get to this area. So, yep. With that, bonfire time. <laughs> bonfire... No, is isn't... I saw... Oh, I guess that was a player. Okay. Right, so with that, uh, Lost Bastille, I want to take a quick trip to Macduff's place, because I want that longbow. Yep. Now, I really should mention... Well, I should have mentioned it in the first bloody video. The build I'm going for is a mixture between strength and dex. So I will be making use of both strength weapons and dex weapons. Yeah. Uh, let's see... Uh, longbow. Yep. Uchi. Oh, why not? Flee. Flee. Oh, yeah, what? Well, don't you say something if I talk to you? Flee. I give you my all. <laughs> no. And even and hmm. Maybe if I reinforce stuff with you. Right, so... Got my dino chunks. And we got enough twinkly dinites. Longbow! I have enough to upgrade you twice. So yeah, let's do that. And then... Uh, I can upgrade you once. That's good. Boop. In fact, I could upgrade these a bunch. You now, having more armor would be nice. Alright, so three. Actually, no, I need to level up. My question, since I have.
Ah. You're quite fascinated by flame, aren't you? <laughs> Not much I can say of that. Which reminds me, I haven't talked to Flame Astro in a while. Yeah, no, self, send him a Skype message after this recording. Since I think I've been recording for about an hour. <laughs> yeah, I should really make these shorter. Again, I am spraying the mob, so... Oh yeah, the main reason why I was doing one episode at a time was to avoid audio there. desync. Seek, seek so yeah, I guess I need to check that, actually. <laughs> Because if this has audio desync, then fuck. How much I can do? Well, there is, but... Yeah. Hey, that... Oh! Oh. Oh, exactly 70. And I can't get any more level-ups, can I? No, I can. Help. I should know. If I'm able to. 70.8? Yep, that's what brings me over. So the exact is 70. Wow. Well, that's interesting to know. Yeah, I think I'll give myself a bit of leeway and put one more into. Uh. One more divide alley. Yeah, you'll do. There we go. Yep, now I should be safe. Okay, so, and with that, viewers, I will end this episode here, since I have been going for quite a while. This has been Dragon of Eternity, going from more Dark Souls to Skull of the First Edition. This recording session, I went through No Man's Wolf, and I defeated the Flexile Sentry. And I made it to the Lost Bastille. A different way round. <laughs> so yeah, we've unlocked two ways to get into the Lost Bastille. So yeah, next recording session, or next episode, depending on how I split these, I guess I will be going for the Lost Bastille to hopefully face the first Great One. Oh boy. <laughs> so, yeah. And with that, viewers, until next time.